Hi students, in the case of integral calculus, we will solve a simple problem. Solve that is, integral function is convergent and divergent. That is, we will check the question. We will check the integral function. And the function is 1 divided by x minus 2 the whole power 3 by 2. This integral function is convergent and divergent. That is, we will check the question. First, we will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. We will check the limit of the function continuous. If the function value is infinity, the function is discontinuous at that particular point. This is a rational fraction. So, if the denominator is x, the denominator is 0, at that point, the function is discontinuous. Because the denominator is 0, 1 by 0, the value is infinity. If we have a limit of 3 to infinity, if you have x, the denominator is 0, the denominator is 0. So, the function is continuous. If you have an integral function, you can see this integral value is finite. Suppose, this integral value is infinity, then the function is divergent. So, if you have an integral function, the integral from 3 to infinity, the function is 1 divided by x minus 2 the whole power 3 by 2 into dx. In the denominator, there is x power n in the form. So, we can rearrange the first numerator in the denominator. Which is also equal to x minus 2 the whole power minus 3 by 2. That is, in the denominator, in the numerator, in the power is minus or plus or plus or minus. Then into dx. x is the limit 3 to infinity. Now, what is the formula? It is integral of x power n. And integral of x power n, this is the formula x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. This formula we can apply here. Here we can apply x minus 2. So, this is the integral value n over on x minus 2 the whole power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 3 by 2 plus 1. And limit 3 to infinity. This is a constant, this is the outside. Denominator is minus 3 by 2 plus 1. This value is minus 1 by 2. If you want to use LCM, you can use this addition to the addition. So, if you want to use this addition, it will be 1 divided by minus 1 by 2. This is the outside. Then, remaining function is the remaining function. Now, we can apply the limit. So, first, x will substitute the upper limit to infinity. So, here we have infinity minus 2. Infinity minus 2 is infinity. So, infinity power minus 3 by 2 plus 1, that is minus 1 by 2. Then minus, next time we apply lower limit, that is what we do. We substitute x in the x in the x in the 3. So, we have 3 minus 2, the whole power minus 1 by 2. That is 1 power minus 1 by 2. But 1 power any constant is 1. Because 1 is equal to 1 time multiply, which is equal to, we have minus symbol here, minus. 1 divided by 1 by 2. This 2 is the numerator. So, 2 the whole into. And here, infinity power is minus. So, infinity power plus value is the answer is infinity. Here, infinity power is minus. How do we do it? 1 divided by infinity power plus 1 by 2. And infinity power plus constant is infinity. So, 1 by infinity is 0. So, this value is 0. So, 0 minus 1 is 0. That is equal to minus 2 into minus 1 na plus 2 ni kerana. So in the integral ke value inggal nama ke finite constant andrikudu. So the integral is convergent.